Let me uh, welcome you to the annual uh, Democracy Forum in Santiago organized by International IDEA and the government of Chile. I do it from a distance and of course I would have preferred to be there in person but I'm happy to be able to contribute in this way. Uh, you have come together to talk about democracy and youth participation in politics and elections. There is actually a very strong message coming from young people all over the world about their lack of trust in the democratic uh, um, institutions and processes and that results in a lack of participation. The wide use of social media is of course also um, changing the way young people participate in democratic uh, processes in countries all around the world. It carries also a lot of opportunities. What we want to do in this forum is to look uh, closely at these issues and also to try to pin down what needs to be done to get young people everywhere to get much more involved in formal democratic processes in their countries and hopefully contribute to change. I wish you um, all the best for your important deliberations and uh, very much look forward to hearing about the results and your findings and next steps. Before we start, let's listen to what young folks uh, have to say about uh, um, participation and trust. Confías en tus políticos? Well, I have to say that I do. Surprise, I actually do. <laughs> I think it's really hard to trust somebody who doesn't keep their promises, so I must say no. Yes. Can social media affect political participation? Fundamentally, if a broad enough um, amount of people actually like subscribe to like a certain belief, a, it's very difficult for politicians to ignore it at a risk of alienating themselves. What should politicians do to have your trust? I think I need to see a real positive change happening and the campaign promises are being fulfilled actually after elections. Politicians cannot be corrupt if they want to have my trust. And in order to have my trust and the trust of my fellow citizens, they need to ask more often what we think about important issues. And they can use direct democracy for that. How do you make your voice heard? By voting. Do you think social media can empower citizens? Social media is non-discriminatory and it's very accessible at the same time, so everybody enters it on like an equal footing. Can social media change the way citizens interact with governments? Now governments have portals such as like Facebook, Twitter and stuff like that and it allows them to be a lot more responsive very immediately to like the criticisms, comments and opinions of their citizenry. Well, like theoretically, everybody is an equal on social media, but the, me the, the very medium itself excludes a lot of um, possible like participants. And